and okay. being around those other business owners and hearing some of the challenges they had with either people and lack of strategy, maybe they had lack of cash, again, just helped me, again, level up my business knowledge and be able to run a bigger business. You know, most businesses are, are having the same challenges. It's just maybe mm-hmm. in slightly different markets or different industries. But, you know, we're all, there's all a lot of similarities there. So I wanted to make sure I talked to, I, I surrounded myself with experts in the different fields. You know, through my time, I brought on somebody to help with my sales. We, we created a sales campaign and strategy. Um, mm-hmm. we, we brought somebody in to help with the operational part of things as well. So as the business grew up and scaled up, then we would either change out our existing employees or we bring in expertise where we know we were a little bit weak. Okay. Okay. You know, that's something that I've heard a lot about. Because, for example, creative business owners. Creative business owners are usually, you know, really good. They can be literally rock stars, you know, a full-blown music band who they're really good at writing and playing music, but they really stink at the business side of it. And that's usually why they have a business manager that handles those types of things. And it's the same type of philosophy in general business, where as whether you're a creative business owner or you're somebody like you that like, hey, I'm just building something up big and you're realizing, hmm, you know, we have gaps here, we have gaps there. You know, how do I fill those gaps and really just surround me with the best talent available because then it puts you in the best position to succeed no for sure yeah i mean i I quickly identified where where my strong areas were where my weak areas were and just building people to help me whether it be hiring the right people i mean i I wasn't uh, scared about hiring people that were better than me i wanted to bring Mm -hmm. people with that great experience i mean ultimately i wanted to keep growing my company and whatever i needed to do to grow that whether it be bringing software the right people, the right strategy in place. Um, but, you know, I, I wanted to listen to other people around me and ask them a bunch of questions and just really try to figure things out. I mean, yes, I made a ton of mistakes over the years. And that's part of the reason why I moved into coaching is just to try and share some of my experiences with other people mm-hmm. to hopefully they make less mistakes. But, um, yeah, we, we go into business thinking we know it all, but that's so far from the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we try to fake it till we make it, right? Oh, yeah. It's for sure. That, for sure. That, that, <laughs> that's definitely how it goes. And, you know, right now, what you're doing is so you, you had that super successful landscaping business, you sold it. And right now, what you're doing is you're, you're doing coaching, right? Yeah. That's right. I moved into doing a you know, certified scaling up coach. I go in to help number of companies throughout the US. And then I also have a peer group company as well, where we all facilitate or be like that board of directors for a group of four to six companies. And we'll mm-hmm. meet them three, four times a year. So uh, yeah, I mean, overall, we're probably dealing with um, 60, 70 companies. But it, it, again, allows me to share what my knowledge, my experience was and allow them to make a positive impact on others and help them level up themselves. Well, first off, before we ask this question, you've said it 50 times so far this interview, the level up. So it sounds like level up is a theme with you and part of the coaching that you do. Can you can you explain that a, a little bit? I'm sorry, I catch on pretty quick. (laughs) (laughs) I feel as though all of us only operate at 30, 40% of our capacity, Mm -hmm. you know, whether it be in sports, whether it be in Mm -hmm. business. And a lot of time, it's just a case of how do we push ourselves or, you know, to that, those higher levels to level up? You know, Mm -hmm. I had no concept at all to get in a business more than a million dollars. I had no concept you know, doing, you know, four Ironman races. I had no concept to be successful in the States and have a, a wonderful family. I, I think it's just by being pushed out of the nest to learning through my mistakes. Um, I, I have another phrase I use, only good things happen on the other side of fear. Because I think a lot of people will get into that like fear situation and they'll back away from that. Whereas mm-hmm. I think you get more experience more gain from leaning into that fear and learn from that and then go to that next level 
So yeah, I'm I'm I don't feel as though I'm I'm special in any way. I've just been, you know, le- leaned into the fear, surrounding myself with good people, and mm-hmm. being given the opportunity to to take myself to places where I never even imagined. As far as the fear goes, I totally, totally agree with you. I think we're on the same page except for one small area. And that's where, you know, with spiders, I will not lean into that fear. I let my wife get all the experience that she wants. I so, it. I mean, the, you'll have the smallest spider and we'll be using like a full gallon of bug spray. Is it dead yet? Is it dead yet? We, we're both arachnophobics. It's funny. But uh, salt, salt guns. That's what my wife salt uses. Guns. Salt for guns. Spiders? For spiders. For all bugs. I didn't. Oh, I did not know. So I know salt works with some insects. I did not know that the salt guns work for spiders. No, nope. yep, work a treat with I, spiders. We fog my house. My neighbors laugh at me because I constantly <laughs> I spray. We'll get like big nasty whoop spiders outside. 